Hey guys, in this video today, I want to show you how you can change the language of DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. And the cool thing is, since DaVinci Resolve 19, for all my German audience out there, we even have support now for the German HUD, the interface and everything in German. And not just that, actually, we have lots of viewers here on the channel that are not even native to English, even if my content is in English and I use the English interface, but you can actually change DaVinci Resolve to a different language, let's say Korean, French, and in this video I will show you how this works. By the way, if you have never seen the DaVinci Resolve 19 update, this is a one hour long update because one of the biggest updates that we got for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I made a video here, check this video out, it will teach you a lot of things that is new to DaVinci Resolve since we have version 19. So the funny thing with the language is, it takes, so this is specific for the iPad version, it takes the operating system defaults. So if your iPad is in English, it will also take the English language. But for example, a lot of my German audience, undo, a lot of my German audience, they actually have a German interface and uh, operating system. So now when they installed version 19, they got the German interface. So now why are you asking, like, why would you change that? Because for many people, I actually recommend not using the German interface because it's brand new. Not everything is translated perfectly, but for another reason. Since now 20 years, we have DaVinci Resolve and most tutorials out there, even here on YouTube, not just my channel, but even my over 300 videos that I did on DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, they are all with the English interface. And I have another channel that is completely in German where I teach you everything about DaVinci Resolve in German, but I still used the English interface because at that time when I recorded those videos, it wasn't possible in German. So I tell the people, so even if you find videos not just from me, let's say a five, five years old video, that will probably be with the English interface. But the stupid thing with languages sometimes is that they even translate important stuff, like for example, the pages. Pages are not called pages anymore in German, they are called modules, which makes no sense because page actually is translated Seite and not modules. But anyway, so it comes confusion when it comes to translation because then you're lost because you don't know what is now the name in English or what is now the name in German. So that's why I recommend to keep it in English. But if you want to change, Daniel, finally, show us how. So first of all, if you're familiar with DaVinci Resolve, there is a preference menu. I put this now on a shortcut. This is not the preference here on the bottom. So like you have some of your settings here if you come to the gear, but there's actually another preference window that looks like this where you have the UI settings, system settings, and if you come here to user, by the way, it's still German here, but here I see UI settings, language, currently German. The funny thing is if you change that here, that doesn't affect DaVinci Resolve. You have to change the language outside of the app. So you have to come into your settings and search here for DaVinci Resolve. This is the app, DaVinci Resolve. Now you're here in this window and scroll down. Very important, not the first language, that will actually do nothing. Don't change it here, who cares? I don't know why it's even in, I don't know what it changes, but if you want to change the interface of your DaVinci Resolve, you have to come here to that one, preferred language, language currently, and by default it is set to auto. That's why it takes the default language of your operating system of the iPad. So if you wanna change that now, for example, to English, then you change it to English, or these are the languages that you have. I guess that's Korean or Chinese, I have no idea. But we have France, we have German, we have Italian, we have Portuguese, we have, I think, Polish, or I don't know what this one is, Espanol, Hindu, I guess, and I don't know the last one. Please let me know in the comments if you know which one of those are. I'm sorry for that, I don't know. But anyway, if I want now the English one, I can select the English one, and that's it. Just restart DaVinci Resolve, so I close DaVinci Resolve, and come back to DaVinci Resolve, reopen everything, and now it will actually load the program in the preferred language. In my case, that's now in English. And fun fact, since the last update of DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, the newest one, all of our pages stay actually open. This is amazing. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel if you're new consider subscribing. It's all about filmmaking and filmmaking with the iPad on the go, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro. You are in the right place. See you in the next video. Bye.